The executives of many of the world's top biotech companies are in San Diego for the Bio International Convention, South Korea's Samsung Biologics, which has a facility for making mRNA vaccines, is among the firms taking part at the event. Yi Shi Hu with this report. South Korean biotech companies are taking part in the 29th Bio International Convention hosted by the U.S. Biotechnology Innovation Organization. The convention, held in person for the first time in three years, is taking place from Monday to Thursday this week in San Diego, California. A total of 1,140 companies are at the convention, with over 15,000 visitors expected to attend throughout the week. The Korea Trade Investment Promotion Agency, or COTRA, is promoting South Korean biotechnology at the convention, and South Korean firms such as Samsung Biologics, Celtrian, SK Farm Techo, and Lotte Biologics are also present. The booth run by Samsung Biologics is based on the theme Infinite Possibilities. Well, we're very excited to be at uh, Bio International 2022, especially because it's the first real face-to-face -face event since Corona. And uh, we're excited to meet with our clients, our partners, and uh, really establish not only networking, but our brand presence as a global CDMO. At the booth, visitors can see how biopharmaceuticals are developed, and they can use virtual reality to take a virtual tour of the Samsung Biologics factories. A sustainability wall also showcases the company's activities and plans to lead sustainable biopharmaceutical manufacturing. Visitors were impressed with such innovations. There's really something new that I couldn't expect uh, that Samsung was working with. I think it's the next stage of technology, isn't it? Samsung Biologics saw its operating income increase by 83% in 2021 and will open its fourth factory later this year. That factory is a super plant where the development of cell lines as well as production of the final biopharmaceutical product can happen all at one place. It also has systems for the production of mRNA vaccines. Yi Shi-hoo, Arirang News.